Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, one of the things that I wanted to show you in the October 2020 update that is really really close to being released in the next few days is how the start menu reacts and changes depending on what you actually uh, have as a um, of wallpapers and, and background. So there are different ways of seeing it. So here is one example. This, of course, is using the uh, VAR theme. And if you go into settings, personalization, we're gonna play around a little bit with this. And the personalization, if you wanna make sure that you have the maximum amount of um, pictures um, of, of effect is to make sure that you actually have automatically pick uh, an accent color from my background. This is very important and make sure that taskbar, start, action center, title bars and so on are selected. So this of course is one thing. So there's of course the fact that you can follow dark theme. You can also follow the light theme. Following the light theme, same thing happens. Taskbar, start menu, everything adapts to the colors. So this is what is the new effect of the start menu. It really reacts and changes according to your background colors and accent colors that are available in the um, wallpaper and in the uh, different effects of and the different styles of what's happening in the background. So this is important to know. So you see the buttons now have become orange and there's a little feel and change here. So the background, you see that the sunset has changed to an orange feel, gives orange buttons. Also, even if you go into the settings, the app itself will change to an orange feel, an orange uh, icons. All of that will follow and have the feel of whatever background color is in here. So once again, to make sure that when you get to the new October 2020 update, this is one of the probably the most um, immediate and visual feature that you can turn on and see. And of course, if you want to turn it on and all you have to do is go into settings, go into the personalization tab and the colors, make sure that, you know, you have the uh, automatically pick an accent color from the background. And uh, once again, make sure that start menu and so on, uh, everything can actually follow this. Uh, if you go to dark theme, for example, let's choose dark theme, same thing here. Let's apply this again. Now the accent color in the dark theme is actually going towards the same color as my background, orange feel as everything is kind of orange because it follows once again, whatever color is in my wallpaper. If it changes blue, everything will change in a bluish feel. If it changes green, so kind of a green feel. So this is what we have in changes. Depending on dark or light theme, and of course, make sure that the uh, check marks are in the options of accent color, and also that the tiles and everything is in here uh, to uh, in the colors tab to make sure that everything follows. And of course, if you don't want it to change with the uh, um, with the colors, what you could do is remove the check mark automatically, pick an accent color from my background and simply choose a accent color manually and everything will follow so if i remove this check mark and i click green here we go everything is going to be in that feel in that look in the background and different menus and the settings app and so on so it's very very cool to uh, see that they've changed this uh, and made this available. I like the fact that um, it follows, so I personally like the fact that it can follow my background accent color. So like that, it changes, and depending on the colors of whatever picture will show up, it's gonna be different, and it's gonna actually reflect upon the menu, so every time you go into the menus, it's different. Of course, you can turn that off. Some people with uh, disabilities sometimes might feel that it's not something they want. Uh, it could be harder for some to actually see what is uh, in the buttons and the text and uh, depending on you know the contrast of the colors also so that's coming up 
and the October 2020 update that should be available soon in the next few days. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.